Hello channel friends, this is W Copeland 38 bringing you a video today of one of my favorite guns. It's a Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum. It's the model 629. It's a really fine piece of work here. Let's go over a few of the uh, technicals on it. Hey, okay, it's not loaded. Always check your gun safety. Of course, the caliber is 44 Magnum. It shoots 44 Magnum loads and 44 Special. It has a capacity of six rounds. It has a barrel length of six inches. The grips, these are walnut. And I also have Pacmar grips that fit it also. And these are the ones that actually wrap around the butt of the gun instead of stopping at the very end. The action is of course single and double action. The frame is a very large end frame with an exposed hammer and trigger. And, the tri and these two are designed wide because they're for target use. The finish is a satin stainless and it has a stainless steel cylinder. It's real thick. Designed to shoot the 44 Magnum loads. The weight of it is 48.3 ounces and is considered recreational use and handgun hunting. And I have gone hunting with it and it'll drop a bore and nothing flat. Now the sighting is adjustable rear sights. The front sight is fixed and it has a red ramp on it. Now along with this I have speed loaders loaded and ready to go. I have two of them. And these are 280 grain I believe. 280 grain hollow, hollow points. This gun of course is made most famous in the Model 27, I mean the 29, in the uh, Clint Eastwood movies where at the time it was considered the most powerful handgun in the world in standard production. Now one difference between this Smith & Wesson 44 and the newer ones is the this one has a non full lug barrel. So what that means is the bottom lug here stops before it gets all the way out to the end of the barrel. The newer ones have a full lug and that means it goes all the way out. It does have an enclosed rod for ejecting the rounds. Here's the cylinder release. I want to get you a real nice look at these, uh, these grips. They look really cool. They're very functional. The only thing negative on it at all is there's nothing to absorb the recoil when you're shooting and that's where the Pecmar grips come in pretty handy. I'll let you get a real nice close-up view of this puppy. This is a fine weapon. Of course there's the Smith & Wesson. Front of the muzzle, business end. Imagine looking down the end of that. I did have this on my feature where I cleaned it up real good and I was using uh, Rusty's rags and it did a really fine job of uh, making the gloss come out on this thing. Made it look really smooth. Here's the other side. Smith & Wesson logo. Here's a close-up of the trigger assembly. And the walnut grips from this side. I got really lucky on the walnut grips because when I first picked it up, all it had was the uh, Pacmar grip. So I had to go searching over the it, the gun shows and then eventually on the internet, I got these at a hell of a price. They're in very, very good condition. They have the original uh, Smith Wesson logo on them. A lot of the aftermarket ones are minus the logo. I don't have the specs for the muzzle velocity. I know it's really high. I've used this thing 
with a few hot loads in it and I used to take it out shooting through well casings where a 357 Magnum would bounce off this thing would go in one end and out the other. Get you a nice little close up. Go ahead, make my day. They're fun to shoot. Like I said, it, as long as you change around the uh, the grips, you can shoot this thing for quite a bit of time. But you're going to need the pack Mars or your hand's going to be relatively sore. Now the other thing is you better bring a big fat wallet because at this point in time unless you buy them in bulk 44 Magnum ammo runs about almost $40 a box here. So if anybody knows where I can get them for a lot less than that for 50 please send me an email and I'm going to get them. Because I do want to be able to shoot it but at this point in time it's rather cost prohibitive. There's the uh, wide hammer, the target hammer. The adjustable sights. Really a nice gun. It's, this thing is so fun to shoot. A lot of fun. It pokes really big holes too. I'm going to take it out and do a couple of shooting videos. I have a few uh, on my channel already of me at the range. I'm going to take it outside and uh, pop this thing in an un uncontrolled area where I can actually shoot uh, something besides just a little piece of paper. One more go around of it from the top down. Can't hardly get the whole thing in camera view. There we go. Well, enjoy. Enjoy looking at it. I hope you might want to check one out and buy one for yourself and you'll have as much fun as I have shooting it and enjoying it. This is Double Copeland 38 saying don't make anyone's day on the end of this thing.